and I hope that you had a really wonderful Purim festival and that you uh, learned some things about Purim you never knew before and that you established some new traditions for your family so that next year you can celebrate it again and uh, remember those things that you learned. Well, today I'm doing just a little um, Rosh Hashanah pre-workshop video here to encourage you to uh, continue on with the rhythm of living in sync with Yahweh. So I know it's a little noisy here because of the river, but um, I thought this was a perfect place to uh, shoot this video today. So uh, bear with the noise, I'm going to try to speak up, but <laughs> it's not a long video. So as you can see, there's still snow out here where we live, but there's also this flood going on. It was actually a beautiful day. Uh, you see the sun and some blue sky today, which is amazing. We haven't seen it for, it seems like, months, ever since November, I think, or October. <laughs> so, so thankful for that. Um, but, I, but as you notice, the seasons, it's changing. We're, things are changing now, and that is, we're starting to see the green come up, which is exactly when the new year should be, yes? Yeah, that's what Rosh Hashanah is all about. Rosh Hashanah, which is head of the year, is up like it's a week and a half away. And I want to encourage you to enter into that and uh, to come to um, my workshop on this Tuesday evening in Spokane from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock. We're going to talk about Rosh Hashanah. Uh, so one of the things, we're going to talk about what it is, why it's not in the fall, why it's in the spring instead, how to find it uh, according to the Creator's calendar, um, we're going to talk about how Rosh Hashanah um, became Yom Turah, uh, and we're going to look at, then we're going to look at the rhythm of the feast throughout the year. Uh, so the, the mechanism by which we find Rosh Hashanah is called reckoning of time, uh, but we're trying to reckon time so that we can actually find Papa's calendar. So the calendar is what, what we're really interested in, but we've got to find the head of the year in order to enter it. So you have to know when the first day of the month of the first month is in order to find the 14th day of the month to be able to find Pesach properly. So I want to teach you if you don't already know, uh, or if you do know, I want to encourage you, uh, but I want to teach you how to find that scripturally, uh, just solo scriptures. So um, we're also going to look at what Yeshua did on Rosh Hashanah. Um, we're also going to look at traditions that uh, you could do on Rosh Hashanah. So I'm, I'm going to share mine and uh, give you some inspiration for, for your own. Teshuva Ministries is also uh, going to have a Rosh Hashanah party here in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Uh, so if you're interested in that, let me know and I'll tell you where that is um, going to be. So ladies, I know that this rhythm in the spring can be pretty intense. So, you know, we just celebrated Purim a week and a half to go and we will celebrate Rosh Hashanah, then 14 days later we'll celebrate Pesach, which then opens up the rest of the spring feast. So I know that this can seem really fast and moving hard and fast, kind of like this river. This, this is uh, the river on our property and it's swollen. There's a huge flood here now. Um, we're, we have just been able to actually drive out of our home <laughs> because the flood has been so bad. But uh, I love, I'm here today because I love what my husband wrote um, and talks about sometimes. He, he wrote about the idea of the river being Elohim, it being the rhythm of Elohim. And the fact that there's a lot of crazy making going on, a lot of crazy water on the edges of the river. Um, people are standing and all they're doing is chatting, talk, 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 talk about the feast about um, about this Hebrew walk and all they do is talk and they confuse people. So they're really like sheep in wolves clothing. They're standing on the edge of the river for anybody to come down who wants to get in. They're standing there preventing people from actually jumping in the river and and being washed away by Yahweh's rhythm and really entering it well. Uh, they're standing there making confusion and just doing a lot of gabbing instead of actually showing people how to get in. So the idea is that you get past the crazy water, past the crazy making, past the chaos making of, you know, which calendar and this and that and the other thing, um, and you jump in the river. That's the goal. The goal is to actually get in the river and live it, swim it, go down Papa's stream. So um, I know that living in Babylon, um, the 
upstream that we live in right now, we kind of stand up and turn around and walk the other way, and it's like walking upstream. But I love the, the analogy of this river being uh, this river being Yehovah's rhythm. And uh, so I'm going to encourage you to stay the course. This calls for endurance, and so the spring feasts are now upon us uh, in just a little bit. Come to my workshop on Tuesday night in Spokane. Just let me know, and I'll tell you where that is. From 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock, I have a special gift for um, anybody that shows up. I want you to come to the workshop so we can talk about Rosh Hashanah. Now, I just want to be really clear that I'm not intending to argue calendars, all right? So I know there are a slew of calendars out there. Everybody wants to have their own calendar, um, wants to have their own um, prophetic insights into the calendar, but the scriptures are really, really clear about what calendar, how to find the calendar, what reckon, how to reckon time to find the calendar. So that's what I want to show you. Uh, this is what we believe. Um, so if you're coming, if you want to come and argue calendar or push another calendar, just don't come. <laughs> All right, <laughs> don't come. Uh, but if you want to come and learn about the Creator's calendar and learn about what Teshuvah Ministry believes that the Scriptures is saying, and I'm going to show you right out of the Scriptures uh, what it says about the head of the year. So one thing I just want to encourage you on real quickly is don't rush too fast into Pesach. So you really don't want to miss Rosh Hashanah. There's so much beauty there in Rosh Hashanah uh, for your heart, preparation for your heart. Just like Purim was preparation for your heart, there's uh, things in Rosh Hashanah that you need and don't rush into Pesach. People that are starting to talk about Pesach and unleavened bread and stuff, they're really going to miss uh, what Rosh Hashanah has for them. So this is all part of walking in rhythm. You don't want to walk ahead of Papa want to walk in step with him. So if you're going to actually really live this calendar out as we have seen that uh, that is where the rubber of repentance hits the road and as ladies of Teshuvah that's what we need to be offering our families. Um, this is where it is. So if you jump ahead of Papa then you're missing the beauty, missing a whole bunch of things that he has for you and you're not walking in rhythm with him. You're actually walking uh, in your own rhythm at your own time, you're going to, you know, be thinking about Pesach. In your own time, you're going to be thinking about the unleavened bread. When right now, he wants to talk about some things that have to do with Rosh Hashanah. Which number one is the calendar? How to reckon time to find his rhythm, and um, a whole bunch of other really cool things. So, so just chill out, people, and just walk with him. Don't run. Just walk. A nice, steady walk. That's what my husband likes. A nice, steady walk. <laughs> That's what Papa likes. A nice, steady walk. Well, there's time for running, but right now we're walking. <laughs> okay. So I'm excited and I hope that uh, you come to the workshop. Anybody that is long distance and can't make it, then uh, it will be live streamed so that you can watch it anytime uh, that you need to at another time, okay? So until then, uh, get in the water, okay? Get in the river and swim. Uh, this river is a little dangerous right now. <laughs> Get in the river of Yahweh Elohim and his rhythm. I love the rhythm of his feast. And this, my friend, we're on the head of the year, which is basically the, the head gate of that river. And you're going to get in and you're going to float it. And uh, it will take you for a ride. Trust me. It's a, it calls for some endurance and some paddling and some understanding of the river. Uh, but you're going to love it. And uh, someday my husband's book is going to be for sale. It's called uh, Beyond the Crazy Water. So if you're interested in that, let me know. <laughs> Maybe I can get him to finish it. <laughs> so bye-bye. I hope to see you on, on Tuesday. If not, I'll see you on the internet. And then possibly at the Rosh Hashanah party here in Coeur d'Alene uh, next, uh, on, let's see, March 30th. I think we're going to do it in our new office. So how cool is that? Head of the year in our new Teshiba Ministries office. I'll see you then. Shalom and have fun rafting. <laughs> bye, guys. I'll see you there.